In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove auto boot so you can update your Wii or just take it back to the original Wii U startup. I'm going to be using a Wii U guide, which I will link in the description so you can follow that instead if you'd like, but I will be walking you through it here as well. So if you have auto boot on, you won't be able to do the health and safety icon and hold X because it'll tell you you can't run the environment loader twice. So what you need to do when you turn on your Wii U, just hold X right away and it should take you to the environment loader. And once you're here, you just follow the same steps as you did for auto boot, except you want to remove it. So click A on installer. And then click A on check. And then go down to boot options. And here you just have the option to switch back to the Wii U menu because auto boot is already set. So just press A and you will remove auto boot and then just press A to shut down the console and then when you restart it it should be just the regular Wii U menu without your custom firmware. Now the reason I'm doing this is so I can update my Wii U from 5.5.5 to the latest version of 5.5.6 so I will also walk you through that. So to do this just go ahead and go into your system settings and I will meet you on the Wii U gamepad to continue because you can't do settings on the TV. So we're currently on 5.5.5 and we're going to now update it to the latest version. Oh, I think it's all the way down here. So click update. Update it. And because we've turned off auto boot, should be totally fine. And just like that, we're updated to 5.5.6 with no issues. So let's just go into the system settings and double check that it went well. And we're at 5.5.6. Now my Wii U is updated to the latest version and I do not have auto boot turned on. So if I do want to do that, I'll hold X on the health and safety icon. It'll bring me to the environment loader and just click installer. Click check boot options and switch to payload loader and then you'll be right back to where you were except you will be updated but you'll now also have auto boot back on so that's it for the video if you found this helpful please leave a like it helps the channel and uh, if you have any questions feel free to comment and i will try to get back to you as soon as i can but anyways thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one